Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. I would like you to know today that my mind is still getting blown by music. I'm still learning things that I didn't know. And that happened to me over this holiday break. I took a little break from making videos and, and in a discussion I had with a friend of mine, my mind got blown by music again. And I want to tell you about it. I've also made you a little PDF about it. I call it the gospel fill exercise, not that kind of fill. Although uncle Phil probably had some soul. This is F I L L fill. And, and it's something that I should have already known about. I should have realized that it exists and that it's pretty easy and that I can use it everywhere, but I just didn't. It was kind of already in me. Once I stumbled upon it, it was like, I just went, I just took off. I was like, Oh yeah, Amy, come on. This is a, uh, this is where it's at. You got to tell everybody about it. Maybe you already know about it. If so, tell me what you do with this. Tell me what you've already done with this information. Well, I'm going to show you what I've been doing with this information since I stumbled upon it. I would prefer it if you use your ears and if you don't get the PDF. I know I make a little money if you get the PDF, so that's always nice. But I would actually prefer it if you use your brain and your mind and your head as well as your ear to figure out how this is going to work for you. Just logically, I'm going to teach you about it right now. And, and that's what I would prefer you do mind and your head and your brain and, and your ear and your voice to kind of figure out how this is supposed to sound, how it feels for you in your fingers. But I know that some of you like to read it, see it on the page, play it. And so I put it in every single key and that's what the PDF is major and minor. It's 24 different things that sound pretty friggin' amazing. And you can get that if you would like to let's hop right into it. This is it. I want to show you what I've discovered. My friend said, Amy, can you figure out what the piano player is doing on this track by Anita Baker body and soul? So I listened to this little section. And I said, yeah, I, I can figure that out. I figured it out. I thought, gosh, all right. So this song sometimes sounds like it's in C sharp minor. And what the piano player did was to go from an inversion of C sharp minor to B back to C sharp minor. I thought, well, you could probably just keep going like that. Cause that sounds really intuitive and, and nice, doesn't it? So I said, well, what if you how would you keep that sound going? It stands to reason that if you, if you started with C sharp minor and then you played B and then you played C sharp minor again, well, you could probably play B again in its next inversion down. Hey, that does work. Oh my gosh. I said, I'll bet this is a kind of device that everybody can use all the time. And, and I had no idea when I, when I first stumbled upon it, how often we're going to be able to use it. You guys, it's a lot. So check it out. If we're in C sharp minor, in order to get this sound, you just have to drop the root a whole step to B and then play a major chord. So you've got your minor chord and then a major chord. This is, uh, this is kind of like, what if we took all these notes and these notes? and put them together like a scale, right? We'd get all of those notes. And I happen to know that when you're singing a minor song, these are like the strong notes, kind of like the pentatonic run notes that like gospel singers use. Oh, right. Mostly they use minor pentatonic notes, but sometimes you'll hear this one in there as well. So that's all of these notes. And then I started to think, well, well, what if I, what if I was doing a run? Oh, how would I harmonize those notes? Could I do it with just these two chords? Oh. Yes, I could. Let's put it in a different key. Let's go A minor. Those notes in A minor are here. We just skip the F. 
because it's like, nah, I play it and immediately everybody's like, nah. Yeah, that note is not as cool as all of the rest of these. These, these are so settled. That other one, I'm not gonna touch it again. Nah. The other one, we're gonna leave it alone. But how about this? If we're in A minor, we drop the root a whole step and play a major chord. Those are our two chords. You know what I did? I made you a PDF. It's got all of these on it. And, and it actually sounds like this. Because I think that sounds really good. You can, you're going to be able to do all manner of stuff. Is that all manner? You're going to be able to do all manner of stuff with just this idea. You can come up on it, go down with it. You can insert it into all manner of song. What if I just, what if I just pulled out my, my phone and I, I went through my iReal pros here and looked for the first, uh, just the first minor song I can find. Ain't no sunshine. How about that? Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. Oh, what did I just do? That sounds amazing. It ain't warm when he is away. That's all I'm doing, you guys. Just these. What if we switch to the D minor there? Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. Can we do it here, D minor and C? Absolutely. He's always gone too long. It'll get trickier after this because we got a half diminished chord and a and a dominant chord. But right when we get back to that minor, anytime he goes away. Woo! What what's the next one? Like what's another minor tune that I might find if I'm just looking for? Oh, and I love her Beatles. What have we got? That one's good. F minor and E. I give her all my love. C sharp minor again. You guys, you see what I'm doing. Anytime we've got minor chords going on, we can totally use this device. It's awesome. But it got me thinking, we must be able to do the same thing with major chords. I mean, it's a very gospel sounding thing, isn't it? I'm calling it the gospel fill exercise. But uh, let's check out what if we were, what if we were major? Can we do the same kind of thing with major? Take those major pentatonic notes that we hear people do runs on. Hey, right? We don't talk about these two. Nah, sorry, but these are very settled. All of these are very settled notes in the key of C, and we'll hear them all the time from pop singers doing their fancy runs. We don't often hear these these two terrible notes. I'm just kidding. They're a tritone. We don't often hear those notes. We do hear these. So what could we do with those? And so I'm trying to think about it, and this is what I came up with. You can do the same thing. You do actually have to add the F on it. But you can do it with C and D minor. So you take that major triad, then you go up a whole step and, and make it minor. Listen to how this sounds. It's kind of that same flavor as we had in minor, right? But a little bit, just a little bit altered, a little bit shifted to make room for the major. And it's so powerful, each one of those, isn't it? Yeah. Every one of them just using these notes. Doesn't it sound good? So what if we take some easy gospel song like Swing Low, Sweet Cherry, coming for to carry me? As long as it stays on a C major chord, we're good. We changed to the G chord. We'll have to we'll have to do a different kind of harmony, but all of that stuff in C major sounds excellent. So what if I go through my my book here, my my I reel, and I just find a song that is major? Well, I, I come to Away in a Manger. That's weird that it's in there, but but it is, and it's not bad. So if we have to do that with D major, which is where this is, we're gonna go D up a whole step, E minor. Right? Here. That's where we're at. D, E minor, 
minor, D, E minor. It works. You guys, it's going to work all the time. So what if I'm just playing a gospel version of a way in a major? No crib for a bed. All of a sudden, there's a little more soul in Christmas, right? You're going to have so much fun with this. I promise. I know, I know you, every one of you is going to run to your instrument right now and try. You probably stopped me when I, when the video was four minutes in, you probably just stopped it and went to your piano and busted it out because it's not very hard, is it? You're going to be able to use it everywhere. Don't overuse it. You want to be tasty with it, right? I'm going to trust you on that. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, tell the people in your house about your tasty new fill. Who wouldn't be impressed? I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.